welcome. Today we will take a first look at Avastar, our new tool for animation and rigging. Avastar is a character animation tool for Second Life. The product is made for creating high-quality handmade animations, and it also allows to import and adjust ready-made motion captures. If you have not yet installed Avastar on your computer, then please do this now. You can get the add-on from the Jazz Shop in Second Life, or from the Machinimatrix website. So, let me start with a short overview, by cleaning up the screen as usual, and then add a new Avastar character. Navigate to, Add, Avastar. A new default mesh character appears. This character is ready made for animation. It is fully weighted, and it is already connected to a rig. The rig appears in a bright orange color, and most of the visible elements are bone movement controllers. The character is an exact replica of the Second Life default shape. It is generated with eyelashes and eyes, with hair, and also with a skirt. At this moment the hair and the skirt are not displayed. When we select the rig, and then go to pose mode, we can open the rig display tab. There we find a set of visual controls for the character's shape. In this area we can control which parts of the character will be displayed, while we create an animation. The rig also contains all defined attachment points of the Second Life character. These bones can also be animated just like all other bones. We also support facial animations. But note that currently the facial animation support in Second Life is very limited. However the face morphs are fully supported, as long as you render your animations only in Blender. You can select all shape properties of the character and change their values. The properties and values are exactly the same as the corresponding values in the Second Life shape editor. You can also switch the shape from female to male. Finally you can even download your current shape from your viewer, and use it for your animations. In the Avastar Custom Shapes tutorial you will see in more detail how to do this. By now our character is prepared for our first animation. So let us turn our attention to the rig. Actually the control rings around the character are custom shaped bones, but it is also possible to display the bones as sticks. You find the switch in the rig display. There are two bones with special functionality. The ring at the bottom can be used to move the character to any location in your scene. The location of this bone does never contribute to the animation. For this purpose we have the circular bone at the back side of the character. This bone will be recorded in your animation, and it can be used to rotate and move the entire character. All other bones can only be rotated but not moved. Many of the bones also have been set up with movement constraints, so that you cannot stretch the character to unrealistic poses and thus avoid distortions. However for special purposes you can even disable the constraints. You can do this in the rotation controls section of the rig properties. Rotating a bone, will also let its subsequent bones follow the movement. This sort of rig is typically named, Forward Kinematics Rig, or FK Rig. It helps you to quickly set up your poses, but you still have to adjust the bones one by one, and this can sometimes become a time-consuming task.
therefore we have added inverse kinematics, also named IK rig. In this mode you can move and rotate some extra handles, to position the arms and legs in a more natural way. I will explain these handles in more detail, within the FK and IK tutorial. Avastar is compatible with Second Life clothes and skin textures. The model uses the Second Life UV maps, and thus you can apply already existing textures to it. Or you can use the model for making your own creations. You will find a detailed description of the whole process in the cloth and skin tutorials. By now we are fully equipped to start making animations. So, all that we have to do is creating a set of poses distribute them over the animation time, and let the animation tools generate all of the missing in-between timeframes. And how all of this is actually done, will be shown in the animation tutorial. In the final step you want to export your animation to Second Life. We provide two separate export formats here. First we have the well-known and commonly used BVH format, the exported BVH files are fully compatible with Second Life. But we also support the .nm format, which provides more features and allows more precise animations. Please note that you need a modified viewer for importing nm files. Until now we have only tested that it works with the Firestorm viewer and with Phoenix. Please proceed now to the next video chapter, to see how you can easily create a simple animation.